Do you guys have your money invested? Uh, <laughs> I love that we're like. Yeah. Um, I mean, kind of. I have a 401k. That, that didn't exist. What? So 401k, IRA, like, it didn't exist. Back in the days of yore, you had savings accounts and you had social security. Right. Yeah. But there was no IRA, there was no 401k, none of that shit existed. Well, the good news pension. is, for me, it still doesn't. Pension. Right. So it's, uh, it's yeah. like I'm living in the old times. I'm an old soul in that sense. But, I do have some money in the stock market, but, like, nothing that is ever going to matter for me. And I also lost money on GameStop when that whole thing happened. You did? Oh, did you really? Oh, yeah, Reza. because I don't have... I don't have, like, the nerves of steel that you need for stocks. Like, remember, they're like diamond hands. You put it in, you don't touch it. And I was like, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to put some money in. I'm willing to lose all of it. It went down that day, and I immediately sold it at a loss. <laughs> <laughs> like if You're it, like, I can't deal with this volatility. Yeah, I really couldn't. Like, I just saw the money going down. I was like, get out, get out. <laughs> I mean, luckily, it was digital, because if not, it would have been the most embarrassing call, because you would have been like, buy it, and then I would have hung up, and then I would be like, sell it, sell, sell all of it. <laughs> See, like, that, the, the digital aspect of it means it doesn't seem... Real, it's like gambling. Like I, I, it's a game. I remember gambling. Like you'd go to a casino and you would gamble, and now people are just like, boop. There's like two kinds of people who are in the stock market. There's like one person who, like my mom, who invests in it for her retirement, and she's like stable and whatever. And then there's the Robin Hood kind of people who like do it for high risk shit. And like I don't really like. I I've been taught to do the former, which is like invest because it's your retirement or whatever. And the other part of it just seems complex to me. But I understand why people do it if it looks like a fucking video game. The app for Robin Hood is yeah. basically like a video game, right? Well, a really shitty one. <laughs> you know, you're like, bye. <laughs> right, right. How, how many lives do you get? Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh, my real one. Oh, you save a princess. Wait, the money's gone and I didn't get a I new didn't. life. They, they do give, give you confetti, though, when you buy. I heard. Oh. They got rid of the confetti. They so that to. it doesn't look like too much of a game. Yeah. Oh, really? Yeah. They got yeah. rid of the confetti? Of the game. Yeah, I'm sorry. When you bought a stock, all the ghosts turn white and you can eat as many dots as you can as you want. <laughs> <laughs> it was getting too on brand. <laughs> <laughs> then you had to beat the final boss and just da Jamie Dimon with 10 arms. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Atticus was like, I, yeah, like I'm fucking out of here. Yeah. I was I, waiting for Atticus yeah. to go like, fuck this. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Is the actionable like thing for the average human to just not invest in the stock market? Is that what we're saying? The actionable thing for the average human is to put money into index funds and yes. like not deal with it. Right. And just don't fall for the volatility I'm and sorry, the bullshit. You there, so you put your money. It's yeah. crazy to me because like growing up in Turkey, my mom never told me like generational wealth, like you know stock market, like invest. And then I got here and everyone was like. How about your savings account? Like, how about like the stock market? And I was like, okay, like I guess I'll do it. But like, it kind of sucks that I have to be the first one in my family to build oh. generational wealth, or I said, marry rich, which my grandma would love. But <laughs> what do you think? What do you think is more uh, likely? <laughs> so you're gonna win the stock market. We hit up a Yankees game. <laughs> you know, first of all, it sucks. I'm a Red Sox fan, but <laughs> I feel like I, between learning the stock market and like coming up with an invention for Shark Tank, I feel like my odds are better being like, I, I bet I'll come up with a good idea faster than I right. can like get any money in stocks. The stock market is a bunch of people that have MBAs, and from the moment they wake up, to the moment they go to sleep, they're inventing new and interesting ways to suck money out of your money. Your, do you ever play three card money? Yes. So it's a bunch of people that are in on a game and then you walk up and go, I got this. <laughs> the ace is right under there. I saw it. He doesn't realize the card is nicked. It's right, what the fuck? Like you're not, they're counting on you not knowing what you're doing so that they can, your money is fueling their adventure. Something that I didn't quite fully compute until I was talking to you is, come on, do you want to get up? You're ruining the shot. <laughs> you're ruining the shot. You have to get up. Um, Don't shame him. I'm sorry. Well, he wants to sit with John. Come on. Oh. Go come on. on. There you go, buddy. Ridiculous. There you go, buddy. Okay.
Oh, look at you guys. Right. John, we should have put you in a matching sweater with Atticus. Oh my God. <laughs>